EduAid is an AI program that can help you to plan and create materials for your classroom. To get started, go to eduaid.ai and then create a free account. There are two opportunities in EduAid. The first one is a teaching assistant. With the EduAid teaching assistant, we have two main sections of our dashboard, the left side, which creates the materials, and the right side, which is the output. To get started, select your grade and select the area that you're looking for. We have professional duties, productivity, and even wellness. Here under productivity, you can see that we have a lot of different options, but if we go to wellness, those options change. Today, we're gonna to get started with professional duties. Here you can find lesson seeds, unit plans, class announcements, even IEP outlines, a substitute planner, and accommodations lists. To get started, let's choose a lesson seed and type in a topic that we want to teach, such as fractions. Now you'll notice at the top, I've already included my grade band, third grade students. So when I select add to workspace, it begins to create this lesson for me. For the sake of time, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. Now that this is created, it has all of my methods, my assignment ideas, and even instructions. If I reset this, and we look to a unit on fractions, selecting unit plan, this will give me a guide to how best organize my instruction relating to fractions. This starts leveling up and organizing all of my materials to help my students better understand. The class announcements and email homes are very similar. Basically, you give a topic and it will create a template of a letter that is well written so that you can send it home or make it public. For example, dear parent or guardian, and you'll notice that it's very generic. So now you could copy this information and then edit it to suit your needs. I'll admit I became very excited with the substitute planner, but when I choose substitute planner and I give it a topic, it basically gives me the classroom rules and expectations that are pretty general for all students to follow. So it's more of a guideline on how people should interact with your classroom. And again, you can copy this and edit it for later. So you may want to paste in any of your lesson plans or anything like that, that you would want to give to your substitute. The IEP outline gave me some pause for a different reason. I wanted to know how much data is being transferred that could be identifiable for a specific student. So if I want to create an IEP outline for reading comprehension for a third grade student, and again, I'll fast forward for the sake of time. You'll see it really just gives me a template and I can insert dates, student names, grade levels, and specific objectives. What I would wanna do when this is, cre is completed is to copy it and then move it into another format. So it really just helps with the administrative side of things. Under the productivity header, I can create templates that I can use in my classroom, credible source lists, other lists such as ranking nations by GDP, or anchor charts. So I'm gonna try a credible source list and give it a topic that I wanna talk about. Since I've already specified my grade band, these are gonna be very, very uh, useful for my students. So if I've chosen narrative writing and we skip ahead, you can see it gives me a nice annotative list with links that my students can then go to visit to get some good research. Other options are found up here in the drop down menu in the top left corner. We've been looking at the teaching assistant, but there's also a content generator. When I choose content generator, it looks very much like my teaching assistant in my workspace on the left and my output on the right. I choose the subject that I want to teach and the grade band. From here, I can specify things such as if I want questions, reading comprehension activities, STEM projects, art projects, even exercise competitions. So this really is a useful tool for all classrooms. If I choose something like an art project and we try to trip it up a little bit, I'm gonna give it a topic that might be difficult to come up with an art project for, say Benjamin Franklin. So I need a Benjamin Franklin art project for students in my particular grade band in this case, middle school. And you can see, once I fast forward again, that it actually does create an entire art project based on Benjamin Franklin. That's pretty impressive. It has my instructions, my materials, and even how it will connect to the other parts of my learning. 
You can create questions or general exercises in here as well. Hopefully you've been able to see that there are a lot of opportunities from creating questions to taxonomy scaffolding and even unit plans that can help you create materials for your classrooms. One of my personal favorites is a real world activity based on the subject that I'm studying. In this case, weather for middle school students gives instructions to make your own barometer. 